Good morning, Duggernauts. How's it going? Um, long time no see. Been a while. Uh, on my way to work, I uh, got a new job. I'm working at the mall. So that's always fun. I always like working at the mall. Uh, I work at our, uh, it's called the Watch Company. It is, we sell watches and we re put new batteries in watches and do a lot of like band changes and stuff like that for uh, people who have watches. <laughs> people who have watches. Anyway, driving to work, trying not to get into accidents. <laughs> Um, look, check this out. It's, look at the snow. It's the 21st of November, and we've already had like four inches of snow, and it's been, um, I believe, like below zero every night for the past like 19 nights. It's crazy. Um, and I have no heat in my car, but it's not that bad. It was, it's pretty sunny. Uh, all that, but uh, yeah, wasn't expecting to get this cold and snowy this quick in the year. I mean, I wish it would have held out a little longer, but you know what? If that's what happens, that's what happens. It's weather. Um, some changes, uh, last time you heard from me, and uh. Katie, we uh, were working for her parents in the midst of uh, doing eBay stuff, and her parents were in the midst of uh, purchasing an antique mall. And, uh, well, the purchase happened. We took over the, an antique mall in August. Katie is running it for her parents, so she's basically the boss, and uh, she loves it. Um, it's stressful. She can be very stressed out a lot, and uh, but I know she likes it. She has worked retail basically ever since she's had a job, since a teenager, and I know she was tired of it. So now she's the boss, and she gets to run the show and make the schedule and write the checks and all that jazz. Uh, me. Like I said, I am currently working at the mall. Uh, I do have some exciting news. Um, I don't know if I ever shared with you that I wanted, to, I've always kind of had the dream to be a radio DJ. Well, um, I'm gonna close the window here so you can hear me. So, um, a few days ago, I, uh, out of the blue, just, eh, I'll post on, uh, well, it wasn't really out of the blue. I, I, what happened was I ended up re-watching a bunch of... Uh, I went back and started watching Shea Carl videos and the Shea Tards vlogs back when he first started the daily vlogs for a year. So back in like 09 when those, he put those up. So, and uh, as some of you might know, he was a radio DJ Why he did this. And um, I always... I. As a kid, I thought radio DJs were fun, and like when I saw the movie Airheads, I was like, that'd be an awesome job. If you haven't seen the movie Airheads, go out and see it. Go, go pick it up. Go rent it. I'm sure it's on demand somewhere, but it's hilarious. Um, but anyway, I thought that job would be really fun. Then uh, years went on. Uh, when I first started watching the Shaytards vlogs, I told Katie, I was like, that, radio DJ would be really cool. And um, I wonder what I have to do to like get into it and... There's some, like a lot of, there, there is like college courses you can take, like communications courses. I know like Howard Stern became like, got like a bachelor's degree in communications to be on the radio and stuff like that. But it's not, rec it's not a necessity. Um, so anyway, fast forward to four days ago or like the beginning of this week. It's the week before Thanksgiving, by the way. Like I said, it's November 21st. Uh, I went and posted on the local KISS FM radio station's Facebook page. Uh, what was the post, if I can remember correctly? Uh, 
just a fun loving chubby married bearded man that's always wanted to be a radio DJ any advice that's exactly what I posted and about a day later um, I get a reply on my post from Kiss FM uh, saying like hey give uh, Dayton Dayton Kane who's the pro program director and I think he does the morning show also for Kiss FM up here where I live and uh, so and they gave me his email which was awesome um, so went ahead threw email together and sent it out and the next morning which was yesterday morning I woke up to an email reply from him saying hey we don't have any immediate openings but would you want to come in and like hang out do a job shadow and then I'll give you a tour and we can talk uh, let me know what days are good for you so <laughs> uh, yeah uh, so I emailed him back told him what days I have off next week and lo and behold next week Tuesday morning I have an appointment to meet up with Dayton Kane at the KISS FM studio here where I live at 8 a.m. Uh, to sit in on the last hour of their national morning show and take a tour and just kind of talk things out and see what the future might hold. And that's awesome. And like this, this is awesome. I, I'm so excited. I'm nervous as hell. Um, but I'm going to try to just kind of be myself and because uh, I mean I'm awesome right <laughs> anyway like I said driving to work driving to work <sighs> also another thing I want to share with you guys um, I don't know if you can tell but I'm kind of limping around here of this uh this big boot on my leg Few, a week or so ago, I uh, been about two weeks now. Um, took a tumble, I was coming off a stair and misjudged it and uh, rolled my ankle inwards, tore a ligament in my ankle. And let me tell you, not fun. Um, probably just wish I broke it. Not, not probably, I do. I do wish I just broke it sometimes. Cause here it is uh two weeks later and uh still have a lot of pain. A lot of pain. I'll show you later, but my like ankle's like all jacked looking. Black and blue. Toes are all black and blue. Um I'm gonna get a soda over here before work. What do I want? I usually go for the live wire or the code red. I don't know. Uh, I go to code red today. So yeah. I know I should probably have something better than soda, but it wakes me up. in the mall. Work in the mall. Right now it's full of mall walkers. Which, I don't know, I never really understood. I never understood mall walkers. But, um, why would the mall let these people come and just walk around the mall when they're not shopping? The mall's a place of commerce. I love coming walking around the mall too, though. <laughs> anyway, almost to work. Uh, here, see, see that right there? That's where I work. That's where I work. 
This place right here has awesome cupcakes. Guys, I don't know about you, but um, I've always liked Christmas time in the mall. Like, I, just, I don't know, I like Christmas time everywhere. I like it when people put up decorations, and I like it when the mall's decorated. Like, I don't know if you can see, but, They're, uh, they got some, like, oh, that's my finger. They got, like, garland and everything hanging up there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I love driving around town and seeing people putting up their decorations for their house. And, like, downtown has, like, all those decorations on, like, the light poles and, like, going across the street. Uh, in fact, next Tuesday night is our holiday, hol the holiday parade. Christmas parade here in our town. We try to go to that if Katie wants to go to it. I don't know. Um, people at work are putting up. <laughs> She's embarrassed. They're putting up decorations at their jobs and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I always like Christmas at the mall. So Katie just texted me and uh, said she took chicken out before she left for work this morning and wants me to start dinner uh, tonight, some kind of dinner. So I'm gonna look up some recipes online or I don't know, swing it. But uh, what's your guys' favorite chicken recipe? And when I say chicken, I mean like chicken breasts. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts, yeah, I mean, no fun. Oh. What do you, what's your guys' favorite chicken recipe or go-to chicken recipe? Like if you're like wondering what's for dinner and you just got some chicken, what do you guys make? Put it in the comments. Oh, I get puppy. Oh, I get pup. Oh, I get pup wants to go outside. Oh. All right, so don't know what we're gonna have with it, but here's our chicken. See, um, what I did is did some salt, pepper, onion powder, roasted garlic powder, and Italian seasonings. And what I'm gonna do is brown them, see, on each side. That one probably needs to go a little more. I'm gonna brown them on each side and uh, finish them off in the oven. Now, I don't know what else we're gonna have with it. Uh, let's see here. Huh. Well, we do have pasta, so we can make like some kind of spaghetti type thing. I don't know. We'll see what Katie says. You guys are kind of crooked. We'll see what Katie says when she gets home. It's about, let's see, 620. She should be home within the, like the next 10 minutes or so, unless she stays there with her, her dad. Her dad's finishing, like taking off the letters in front because we're getting um, a new sign tomorrow. My brother actually painted some murals for us and uh, he's installing a couple of them tomorrow. Um, so we might be able to see him tomorrow after work. But uh, yeah, that's our chicken going right now. I did dishes. I missed a few. Don't you hate that when that happens when you do your dishes, you get all your dishes done, and then you see another one behind you, and you're like, freaking A. Anyway, I do. So, yeah. Cutting the hair tonight. I do need a haircut. Thinking about trimming the beard. Like, I've already proved to myself I can go really long. Thinking about trimming it up, like, nice and tight. We'll see. Chicken! Oh, that popcorn. It was so expensive. It was. It, But it, it it's really good, isn't it? It's very good. It's from, what's the name of the place? Buddy Squirrel. But, yeah. So, when we were in Milwaukee a few weeks ago, um, a friend of mine... My best friend, we were at the mall in Mayfair, and uh, he had to get this cheddar popcorn from um, this Buddy Squirrel place. And he was like, yeah, I'll take, a, I'll take a small bag. And me not really looking at the prices very well, I was like, oh, well, I know Katie likes 
the Chicago style, which is caramel corn and cheddar popcorn. Yep. So I was like, oh, I'll just get, I'll, I'll get a medium bag of that. And my, Brandon, my best friend, was like, are you sure? It's really expensive. Look at the prices. So then I look at the prices, and for this, this uh, Chicago style stuff, it's sixteen seventy five a pound. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take a half a pound. <laughs> and it filled, barely filled this little bag. No, it filled this bag. It filled that little bag. And, um, yeah, I won't do that again unless it's maybe that size. But, yeah, it was super expensive. Just loving on her pup. Mm -hmm. Pup loves mama. This is where he'll stay the rest of the night on the love seat. He won't come by me. No. Well, unless you have food. Unless I have food. Yeah. So, we're just cooking dinner and uh, finishing it off in the oven, like I said before. Um, I think we're going to do mashed potatoes with some kind of gravy with, like, the, from the leftover, like, scraps that are in the pan. I, like, poured some chicken broth. That would be chicken broth and stuff I made. Yes. Um, yeah, chicken broth into it, and we're kind of just simmering it down, and then maybe add some cornstarch to it to, like, pour over. And then I add some extra seasonings to it. But, uh, we're going to cut my hair and trim my beard later. Please. Mm-hmm. Um, Beard's Giving is still on, even though we had to change the location. It's at Sean's place. It's at, um, the President's place. Yeah. Not the White House. <laughs> but, uh, I think I'm gonna play my video game. I think I'm gonna re-rent the video game for another week. That's fine. Um, we rent, I rented Assassin's Creed Rogue, the newest one for PS3, so I haven't played it much, so I think I'm gonna play it some tonight. What are you gonna do? I don't know. What are you gonna do? Brody. Brody, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Brody? I don't know. <laughs> he looks so worried. He does look worried. It's okay. Oh, my battery's dying. <laughs> Louie is enjoying it as well. <laughs> He is a chicken fiend. He is a chicken fiend. It's really, it was really cute. Like he was, he was sitting here, and Katie was uh, getting some pieces of chicken ready for him, and his little paw sneaks up and like starts pawing at her knife. He'll do it again. Yeah, he will. Let's see if he does it again. There's a lot of fish that you guys are going to see, whether you're snorkeling, whether you're scuba diving. Now that we have the camera on, he won't do it. We have a raccoon it. butterfly, which always has a mask on, so kind of like your scuba divers do. We have powder blue tangs in there, because you always need a nice blue sky to do water sports. You know, Florida's famous for your blondes, so we have yellow tanks. Just watch this some tanked. You guys took such good care of us, you know, hooking us up with Colin and doing us right. We wanted to do you right, so we threw Hello, a little extra surprise for you guys. Enjoying that chicken? He says yes. So I can't wait to see how this looks after I'm editing it and everything because this is the first time I used like this tripod as a handle. Uh huh. You think it'll be better? I think it will. I think it won't be as shaky. Um, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> He's a chicken feed. He just inhales it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we're gonna cut the hair and trim the beard later tonight too. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it a night. All right, catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye, Katie. No. <laughs>